Hello, uh, welcome back to another quick video. Uh, today it's going to be something I was meant to actually do a video on about a week ago and I completely got sidetracked. Um, but today we're going to be looking at water cooling. Uh, it seems to be a very popular uh, thread on the forums and stuff at the moment. A lot of people are trying to cool down water for crops and the new agricultural upgrade because uh, food has become such a bigger importance in the game. So what I've done today, I've got a build to show you which is basically going to give us water at a lovely 15 degrees. Uh, if we look at the thermal overlay. 15 degrees, uh, which is sort of perfect water for bristle blossoms and things like that. Um, now, the build itself is actually quite straightforward. There's been an awful lot of really complicated and convoluted builds on the forums of late. This one is sort of to try and keep it uh, as simple as possible and as easy to do in, in normal game as possible. Obviously, I'm in debug today. Um, but whilst also giving you a decent throughput of water, because that's the main thing, you want to be able to make quite a few crops. Now, this build here, um, I've actually done the sums and done the maths will give you 6,500 kilos of 15 degree water over six cycles, okay? Now that equates to 54 bristle blossoms, which is this many here. Okay, so that's quite a lot of food for a colony. Um, and obviously this is just off this um, cooling system here, and it's it's a conservative, um, a conservative bit of maths as well, because what I've basically done is allowed a full cycle of cool down time in that to reprime the system and get it going again. So I'll explain now what it basically does and how it works. So we've got a number of different chambers, but essentially we've got a main cooling chamber here, a liquid cooling chamber here, a liquid processing chamber here, and then this is just signifying where our hot water is coming from. Okay. Now, what we've got at the top, first of all, we've got an anti-entropy thermo nullifier. So you normally find these in cold biomes in the wild. Uh, if you find yourself an ice biome and find some, some buried tiles with ladders and stuff nearby, you probably found an anti-entropy nullifier. Get in there, dig it out, and basically what this does is if you pump in hydrogen at 10 grams a second, it will cool the surrounding gases, okay? Providing they're not too cold, um, as in it will continue to cool the surrounding gases unless cooling them further would make them turn to liquid, all right? So basically, pump hydrogen in here, feed it some hydrogen, and you've got a really good cooling system. And if we look at the thermal overview, you can see it's like minus 28 in here at the minute. Now, I've thrown some wheeze warts in here as well, and the hydrogen supply to this is actually supplied by a gas shutoff um, switch, if you like. So basically, my gas is coming down this pipe, this pipe was just for priming the room, that's why the vent's overpressurized now. Uh, but the gas comes down this pipe, hits the gas shut off, and providing this switch is basically governing, if it, as long as it's above minus 60, yeah, as long as it's above minus 60, keep giving this hydrogen, okay? Um, and it'll keep feeding hydrogen into here and keep cooling the room down. Now underneath that, we have some metal tiles and then an airlock in between. This is to cool our oil that our aqua tuner is sat in. Okay, so we have an aqua tuner here that's actually going to be processing our water for this build. And this, this liquid that the aqua tuner is sat in needs to be cooled. And that's controlled by this switch here, which basically says if you are above 20 degrees, um, close this door, which is what it's doing at the minute because this oil is at like 74 degrees. Okay, this cools our aqua tuner down. Now, our liquid is actually being fed from this bottom tank, as I say, and that's coming in as hot geyser water, essentially. It's coming in as very toasty water. That water goes through a pipe up here, which I've done in a different color, so you can see, and just basically gets fed into the room through this vent here, okay? This vent is also a merging point for the rest of the liquid, so all liquid gets fed in through this vent. We have a pump over on this side of the build that's on a separate thermo switch, which basically feeds the water either into our aqua tuna, okay, or bypasses the aqua tuna and goes back into the system. That's what all these bridges are for. There is another thermal switch in the room that's controlling this liquid shutoff uh, valve, which basically says if you are, let me just find the right switch, be this one here, as long as you are above 16 degrees, so as long as the water in this chamber is above 16 degrees, um, go into the aqua tuna. If not, bypass it, and that's all this does. If the water hits this here through this bridge, if it can go into the aqua tuner, if it satisfies this, brilliant. If not, bypass it and go on your merry way back into the system and drop down. So it's basically cycling water until it gets our target temperature. And then this switch over here is basically saying if you are below 16 degrees, pump out into this room, which is what this pump is doing here. 
and that is where we collect our finished water you could have a little holding tank somewhere um, that will collect that for you and then when you need it you can feed it into your plants simple as that now as I say this runs um, pretty seamlessly I do like to give it a bit of additional cooling because I'm a bit of a puss and I like to build closed builds and I don't like ripping them open if something overheats so I would say air to the side of caution run this at a rate of 6500 over six cycles and that will give you um, this many plants which is 54 bristle blossoms um, so I hope that helps guys uh, it's a really really quite compact build I'll show you just quickly some of the overlays uh, the wiring as you can see incredibly simple it can all be run on one circuit and it is intermittent as well it doesn't run constantly um, and then the logic again incredibly simple a couple of gates here and there and some switches really basic stuff um, so any questions do please ask in the comments I'll probably upload this save so you can have a nosy with it and a bit of a play with it as well um, but if not any questions do just ask and I hope it helps you get your crops up and running uh, much love as ever thank you very much take care bye bye